welcome to The High Life. We are Leah and Matt and we have moved from the city into a country quiet farmhouse. We decided that we wanted a slower, quieter life as the city was getting a little bit too much for us and we just wanted a very big change. We do have a lot to do in this house. We found a few major problems that we need to get fixed and we've moved here with our two tortoises, our dog Millie and our daughter Alexis. Come along for our journey where we learn some renovations, some homesteading, and hopefully a quieter and happier life. So it's school morning, but I just thought I would empty out all the food bins because the dishes are getting um, a little bit much. And I brought in the food bin and I've just found this thing and I don't think the video does it justice because it's the size of my thumb. It is a bloody massive hornet in the food bin which I brought into the house <laughs> and I quickly closed the lid and chucked it outside. It doesn't do it justice there though, it's blimmin' massive. Anyway, I've lost it out the door but it's not moving. I don't want it out of that bin and I'm too scared to like knock the bin in case it buzzes at me. Anyway, I guess we're stuck in the house for a bit. I'm hoping it's gone in the next 30 minutes for the school run. <laughs> okay, it is nearly school time. And it's still there, so I'm going to have to get rid of it. And I don't know how. Okay, find a stick. <sighs> oh, excuse me! It's not for you! Get out of my way! My goodness. Now I've put it too close to the bush. I can't see it in, actually. Looking at me also. Oh, oh, did you see its bum wiggle? Whoa. That is ready to get me. Out. Okay, I've locked Millie in the other room. I'm gonna be brave and go have a look. If I hear a buzz in though, I'm running back in. Okay, can't see anything around. Didn't sound like it flew off though. Why do these things freak you out so much? Okay, it's not in the bin. It's not around there at all, is it? Okay. Okay. I think it's gone. I think it's gone somewhere. Let's just check it's not on the bottom. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, no more on it. Oh, panic over. Right, I'm going to sort the bins and then take her to school. <laughs> So I decided to take Millie for a walk. Oh my God, my ankles are not working now. <laughs> a three and a half mile walk around the block. Um, yeah, it was longer and hotter than I imagined. Um, so just, I'm gonna chill out for half an hour now, honestly, because I'm shattered. Um, <laughs> need to get my fitness up. And I'm just gonna go sort out Hori because she's in the garden. Um, I'm trying to get Millie to drink some water, but she won't. So. I was hoping that I could wear her out enough so that I could record lots of yoga videos and then I didn't think that one through because now I'm shattered. So I'm going to wait an hour and then I'm going to get back to work. <laughs> also, the little monkey Alexis, she had the day off for school yesterday because she wasn't feeling well. So I was working in here in the yoga room. So guess what she spotted? Her birthday present. And I thought, she knows that's there now. She was so excited. I was like, fine. I said, but you're not getting anything for your birthday now. And that is your birthday present. So she's had her big Barbie dream house. <laughs> so I also need to move all that because that's in my way of work as well. Morning chores. I'm a little farm, eh? I say little farm. It's not exactly a farm, is it? Oh, come here, babes. Oh, my goodness. Right, let's get you out in the sun. Let's go to Safeway, shall we? So I won't hurt myself. There we go. Oh. 
and we will check how my veggies are doing. I haven't been watering them because, oh, well, they've got some weeds growing in because uh, we've had a lot of rain, but the peas look awesome. Look at them. They're looking so good. Carrots. Carrots are getting little bits on now. Lettuce, tomatoes, and the beans. The beans are doing awesome too. The only problem is now, so I don't think this one through, is that we have to find a way to make this not accessible for the chickens, which obviously isn't gonna happen. Um, I think anything that I put like in here is gonna, they're gonna jump over it, aren't they? So um, not really sure how I'm gonna do that. Obviously the little ones are fine, I could put something over, but these ones are obviously gonna start growing up so not really sure how I'm going to do that. Um, I'm sure I can figure it out somehow. I don't really want to disturb it. I've also got a plant out today, um, Matt's beetroot as well. In fact, so I'm going to do that now before I forget. Um, so that's another thing going in there because I was going to harvest it all and then move it to the other side of the garden. But honestly, I can't really pick that up and the other things need planting. So I'm just going to have to do it, I think. I mean, chickens are going to be there. So hopefully I can just keep them in there for a bit, obviously, until they get used to the place anyway. Um, and then just be out with them for a while while they're, like, roaming. Um, I guess we'll just do it that way until stuff's harvested a bit, maybe. Anyway, off to plant the other things. So I think next time what I might do is even just plant some of these straight out. Because, I mean, the beetroot, no, the radish, sorry, has got really big already. So they really need to be planted out. This is like what always happens as well. I'm like, right, I'll have a half an hour sit down. And I'm like, oh, this needs doing. No, this needs doing. No, this needs doing. I've just remembered I've got like a million puzzle washing to do as well. So um, anyway, let's get these planted. Okay. I've grown all the ones that could be grown or that have grown. So that was the radish, the beetroot and some more tomatoes that I've put over there. The rest haven't seemed to grow. Even the peppermint, there was a couple of little shoots and now they've disappeared. So I'm going to go water them um, and hope that the rest grow. So I couldn't see this when it was wet, but actually the peppermint, there's a shoot there and there's a shoot there. I think that's all for the peppermint. But then also the spring onions, there's something there and a little something in the corner there. So hopefully something is happening. I don't know if the runner beans are working or not. I mean, they've poked out the soil more, but I don't know if that's just because I've just wet it. Anyway, on to the washing. So the veggies are planted out, the washing's on, and I promised Alexis that I would bake some cookies today. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I always tend to use like the same recipe. It's just like so easy. So um, yeah, let's get to it. So I have been using the same recipe for ages, which is always a block of butter, um, 250. I was, this is for vegan. Um, cookies. So a block of 250 grams of butter, then you have 100 grams of sugar, caster sugar, then 250 grams of flour. I like to use self-raising because I like them to go up a little bit puffier. Um, and then I add a little bit of cocoa powder and two bags of dark chocolate chips, vegan ones that don't have milk in. Although they say don't have milk, sometimes I get dodgy belly after so I'm pretty sure might be contaminated slightly. So anyway, that is my recipe. Just mix it all together, oven for about 12 minutes, and you have amazing cookies. So this isn't actually the best way to make them. What I would normally do if I was a bit more prepared is just leave the butter out to soften and then mix it in so it's not so runny and then they do bake a lot better. But, brush in today.
I do find that different butter works differently as well. So I used, I think that time it was Asda's own baking butter. Um, I do find that better than stalk. If I use, I do use stalk, but sometimes if you use stalk, the cookies go a bit flatter. So these like keep them hoofed up, but we'll see. We'll see how they turn out today. I feel like every time I do it, they turn out differently. So that made about 15 cookies. So I'm gonna go put them in the oven. Moment of truth. Let that heat come out first. Ooh. So this is what tends to happen. They look awesome and then you take them out and then they start deflating a little bit. Um, but yeah, let's get them out. So just let them cool down for about 15 minutes. And then I'll take them out of the glass things, which is always a pain, but I always just use a spatula and just like get them out that way. So it's back to work for me now, but let me know in the comments if you do make these cookies and let me know how yours turns out.